Hello. In this video, we're going to look at a real-life situation that we can model with a linear equation. And we're going to look at the slope and the y-intercept of that linear equation, and then we'll go back to the situation to see what the slope and y-intercept tell us about that context, about that situation. So here's our story, and we've got a graph that tells us uh, the number of weeks from now, and for every, a certain number of weeks, it tells us how much money is in Tommy's bank account in dollars. Right, so we've got three points on the graph. We know 0, 30 is one of the points, 2, 60 is one of the points, and 4, 90 is another point. Okay, so we're going to look, find the slope and the y-intercept of this, and then we're going to look at what they mean. Uh, but these are a few principles that are always useful. Um, the b value, the y-intercept, that's the initial value. And what I mean by that, if we've got time on the x-axis, that means it's the y-value at the start. If this isn't time, if this was maybe distance, then it would mean it's the y-value when the distance was zero. But it, in a certain sense, it's like sort of the beginning. Okay. Um, so it's the value when the independent variable, the x-value usually, is zero. And m is the slope, and sometimes in these contexts it's more useful to think of it as the rate of change. How fast things are changing if we've got time down here, or how two things are changing compared to each other. Okay, so that's the abstract part. Let's look at the example. First of all here, we've got that the y-intercept is the point zero thirty, And sometimes we'll say, well, maybe I'll put y-intercept. And sometimes we'll say that the, the y-intercept is 30, because this x-value is always 0. So the b-value here is 30. And what this tells us is that when it, 0 weeks from now, so what does that mean? Of course, that means right now, at the beginning of this graph, right now, Tommy has $30 in her bank account. Okay, so that's kind of like the start. It'll often be something like that now, or it might be the number of weeks starting on January 1st, and then in that case, the start is January 1st. So we've got right now, Tommy has $30 in her account. Okay, so that's what the y-intercept tells us. The slope. First, let's calculate the slope. Um, let's use the slope formula this time. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then I'll choose two points. Maybe I'll choose the two extreme points. So I'll call this uh, x2, y2, and x1, y1. The reason I did my x2 first was because I just kind of thought ahead in my calculations. I realized if I called this x2, then all my numbers would be positive. Uh, if I called this x1, I would have exactly the same answer. Um, but I know, I just could sort of imagine what was going to happen next. And I saw that if I called this x2, then my life sort of in this, this step here would be a tiny bit easier. Okay, so y2, it's 90. Subtract y1 is 30 over x2, 4, minus x1, 0. So we've got 60 over 4, so it's 15. All right, now what does this tell us? So anytime we're using the slope and we're trying to learn something from it, hopefully that's all the time, or anytime we have a context here, uh, let's go back and put those units in. So, the y value, what's the y value of the units on that? Those are dollars. So we'll put dollars here. So it's fifteen dollars. And then what's the x value? What's the units on that? That's weeks. So it's four weeks. And this is fifteen dollars divided by the weeks is in the denominator, so it's divided by weeks. So this means that it's $15 per week. Okay? And then that helps us a lot. So in this case, what that means, we're looking at how much money is going in Tommy's bank account, and it's $15 per week. So this tells us her average deposit into her bank account. So this tells us 
Tommy is making or saving? I guess we don't know. Um, let's just guess savings. We'll guess it's a savings account. Saving an average of 15 dollars per week. Now the only reason it's important to say an average of here is because it actually looks like maybe Tommy's making deposits twice every two weeks. Maybe she's putting in thirty dollars every two weeks uh, because we don't have these points here. So it's possible we just didn't know them, but it's possible that she actually just goes to the bank every two weeks or makes a deposit online every two weeks. Maybe if she gets paid from a part-time job. Um, so instead of saying that she actually saves $15 a week, that might or might not be true, but on average, it's $15 a week. Okay, so to sum up, if you're looking at interpreting the slope and y-intercept, remember that b is the initial value, so that's how much you're starting at. So always read your axes, that's the crucial thing. So you read whatever the x values are starting at, whatever that means, that's how much the y value is for b. And M tells you how much things are changing by. So in this case, it's how, how much money she's saving per week. And in other cases, uh, it'll be different things. But putting the units on always makes it much, much easier. Okay, good luck.